Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Come and see you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we're continuing on with a series that we are doing quarterly. So once a quarter, we're going to be coming on and talking about healthy homes and how you can make your home healthy. Today, we're going to focus on spring cleaning. And on to discuss that with us today is healthy living expert. She's also a nutritionist and cookbook author, Valerie Pence. Without further ado, let's get Valerie on to join us. Hey, Valerie. Hello, Tracy. How are you? I'm great. How are you today? Doing good. Good. Even yesterday's sunshine. Not so much today. But, uh... I know. I know. I'm like, I'm not sure which coat to wear each day or how to send my son off to school. I'm like, wait, let me check. <laughs> like, I'm in spring in Michigan, right? It's oh spring. my gosh. I turned the heat back up because it was like the middle of the night. I'm like, why am I so cold? <laughs> Yeah, it, um, my heat's still on. Yeah, I turned it down because I was like, I think, I think we're good. So luckily, I didn't <laughs> turn it off completely. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a little turtleneck on. You can see. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, it, it's one of those days you want to stay warm. So I know we're talking about spring cleaning today, but, we are. but uh, and we are in and heading into spring and in the spring season. So um, I know that some of us have already gotten that. Um, you know, like the itch to like really, you know, do some things in our homes. And right. um, I know you're going to share with us, there's there's ways we can go about cleaning our homes that does make it clean and healthy and ways that we could actually bring more toxins into our homes. And we don't want right. to do that. No, you don't want to do that. Yeah. So when I work with clients, a lot of what we discuss is about reducing their toxic load. Okay. So that could be external toxins, internal toxins, external toxins that become internal toxins, yeah. right? <laughs> so we're always talking about how can we reduce that toxic load? Because quite honestly, you can't control everything right. it's in the environment, but there are some things at home that you can control and spring is usually the perfect time to make a change. Okay. All right. So what, what can we control? What can we do? Okay, sure. So in the spring, we kind of have this itch to organize or clean or brighten up, open the windows, right? It's yes. like, uh, and it's true. So naturally from season to season, like in the winter, it's the season of rest and the body takes it that way too. That's why a lot of folks, especially women, but a lot of <laughs> folks tend to still want to go, go, go in the winter. And yeah. they want to do all the things that they would normally do in the winter. And the winter is really the season of rest. So it's oh, not like I, you never get off the I couch. Missed, I missed that memo. I missed that memo. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to take a little break a little okay. bit in the winter and let your body just rest, right? Okay. Um, our skin rests a little bit. There's other things that happen in the winter. Well, in the spring, it's kind of, it's rebirth. Um, it's a time to start new. And so that happens in our bodies, which causes us to feel like we want to do some cleaning up in our home too. Okay. Yes. Yes. And you know, so I have a friend who's from Persia and actually their new year is at the start of spring. So when you talked about new and you'd like, it just, it just made me think of that. So yes, it's a new yeah, start, perfect. fresh start. Yes. So. That's perfect. So yeah, so and and usually that's when people start to grab like, okay, I'm getting out all my cleaners and I'm just going to scrub everything down, you know, cabinets, yeah. floors, right. windows, like right. you name it. We're trying to get rid of the deadness of winter, right? right. It's been the time of rest. Yeah. We all feel like, okay, got to scrape some of this winter off. Yes, like, let's let's get it. Get rid of, of it. it. Yes. <laughs> and get rid of it. Well, the issue with that is you know, our bodies are looking to detoxify in the spring. They do it naturally. And quite honestly, people look at, you know, different detoxification programs and cleanses. And like, honestly, like you were built with great detoxifying organs. You just have to take care of them. They're incredible yeah. on their own. You just have to take care of them. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. So like the human body the is we... pretty amazing. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Like, yeah. honestly, like you want to study something new, study the human body. It's like miracles yeah. on top of miracles. Yeah. It's crazy. But um, it, what you want to do, honestly, is make sure, like I say, you're taking care of your detoxifying organs. And one of the ways that they get overtaxed is things like in our household cleaners. So all the usuals, I mean, I grew up, grew up certainly with Windex and 
scrubbing bubbles and Mr. <laughs> Clean and you name it. Yeah, right? like yeah, all, yep. all the things. Yes. Yep. And, um, you know, we kind of learn over time and it's pretty, pretty readily available, the information, understanding how some of those products are overly toxic mm -hmm. and overly taxing to our body. So you think right. that it's just external, but just as things come out of your skin, things go into your skin yeah. and go right into your bloodstream. Yeah, that's a great point. And I think a lot of people don't really think about that. They think like, ooh, I'm getting something really clean and clean. not thinking about, okay, but if that is like stripping away so much within your home, it doesn't just go away. Right, correct. So it lingers on the surfaces. Mm -hmm. So it remains on the surfaces. Um, I know that I, I, I certainly won't divulge who does this, but I know there are a lot of um, home cleaners out there that will go in and they spray the bleach on the showers and then they just leave it so that the mildew, um, you know, kind of clears away. Right. But meanwhile, the next time somebody takes that shower, all the bleach is coming like off those walls and like into their skin, into their lungs. And it's yeah. like the worst way to clean your shower yes. is to spray something toxic on it and walk away. <laughs> Oh, uh, so, so, so what do you, do that. so what do you recommend for those who either have cleaners or I know that's, a, that's a question that I ask when I'm, I always have people who are looking for different recommendations of who to use. And, sure. and that is a question, right? What type of cleaners do you use? So if you have a clean, whether you have a cleaner or if it's something that you do on your own and you don't want to use bleach because bleach is toxic to us, what do you recommend? Yep. Sure. So just like in substituting ingredients, right? So I talk about substituting, getting rid of white flour and getting rid of white sugar mm -hmm. to end up with a pancake, a cupcake, a cookie, right? Okay. So the consistency of those baked goods is not going to be identical right. as, right, the outcome yeah. of say like Wonder Bread and a Duncan Hines cake, right? right. Still delicious, but it's, it's not going to be the same. Right. So I can't substitute bleach and tell you that your whites are going to be stark white. Yeah. Now, there are certainly um, other practitioners who specialize in things like that, and they can come up with things with baking soda and all sorts of like, you know, natural compounds that will do it pretty well. But just understand when you're making substitutions that you're not exactly going to get the same outcome. But sure. if you're looking for things to just be clean, it absolutely can be clean. So things like vinegar, white vinegar, pennies i mean this stuff is pennies yeah. you can buy a huge jug yeah. at costco or things for yeah. like a few bucks yeah <laughs> right so if you just mix equal parts water and white vinegar mm -hmm. and then you can certainly add some people tell me i then my whole house is gonna smell like vinegar i don't like that but you can certainly add some essential oils in there. So some, you know, citrus, some type of like lemon or wild orange. If you wanted lavender and you want to be calm while you're cleaning, you sure, <laughs> add lavender. Like all of that is fine, right? So that's honestly the most effective and the cheapest way to go okay. would be most surfaces can be entire. I mean, even yeah. the bathroom. People are like, yeah. bathroom? I'm like, Yes, the yes. bathroom. Um, <laughs> white vinegar and water is kind of the easiest substitution. Okay. All right. So that's a good tip. So if you want to at least make one change, remove the bleach yes. and add in some white vinegar and water. So <laughs> yes, it's really surfaces. So like yes. countertops, yep. bathrooms, like all your services that your surfaces that you're, you know, typically getting out some type of spray cleaner. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you're still the type that you're like, Mm, I don't know. I don't trust it. Like I cook with that. It's not going to clean. No, <laughs> like I don't. Mm -mm. Um, honestly, there are good brands now. You can get Method brand. You can get Dr. Bronner's. You can get um, uh, Myers is a brand, not the store. M E Y E R S. Yeah, Mrs. Myers. Um, yes. Yeah. So there's quite a few options out there. You are going to pay more, right? for products like that because they're marketed to people who are health conscious and they're thinking, okay, they're willing to pay more, let's charge more. Right. So it does, <laughs> it does happen, but those options are available if right. that's where you want to go. Okay. Yeah. So if you, if you don't want to make your own and, you know, put it together, which it sounds pretty simple, but at the same time, you know, some of us are very busy. So there are products out there that are available. Just make sure that you're taking a look and reading the ingredients label, right? <laughs> 
Yes, so, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so there's a great, there's actually, I think I may have mentioned this before, but there's a great nonprofit organization. It's called the EWG. So the Environmental Working Group, okay. and they can inform you about all sorts of toxic um, products and chemicals that are out there. They even, okay. even have a free app and you can oh. scan a product in the store and it tells you how toxic it is. That's there's like a fantastic. red, yellow, green um, scoring system, Very which nice. is so EW, EWG. EWG.org. The EWG. nonprofit organization. Okay. Um, I wish I could say I was affiliated with them. I'm not. So right. I'm not yeah. getting you know, back. No, or... no, no. This is just, I get, yeah, this is just for helpful information. Um, Cause I know you are very right. passionate about keeping people healthy and helping people become healthy if they haven't been. So, um, right. okay. So, all right. So I'm, I'm going to be downloading that app after I know we had you on last quarter and um, you know, one of the things you talked about that we can do as well is like the plants, right? And yes. um, after that episode, I was in the store with one of my daughters and they had these really cute little mini succulents and we bought quite a few of them. So <laughs> they are throughout my house and she took some back to her dorm room. And so oh, good. we are breathing better. <laughs> uh, I love, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And honestly, there's certainly simple things in regards to detoxifying your home in the spring, like getting your air ducts clean yep. and certainly like getting a good vacuum in and things like that. So right. we certainly do want to surface clean and think about the air we're breathing. You can use essential oils too, um, to detoxify the air in regards to diffusing them in yep. the air. That's a great option as well. Always make sure you're buying high quality, 100% therapeutic grade. Yes. You know, you're not buying essential oils at the gas station or, right, you right. know. Yeah, like, no. And we have some okay. great local shops that sell, and they're yes. not some of the major brands, but they are 100% therapeutic essential Correct. oils. So, and you can yes. get them at a, not at like, you know, drugstore prices, but it is a fraction of the price of some of the larger organizations as well. So, if you want Correct. great essential oils, go to your local health food store or vitamin <laughs> shop. Or <laughs> for sure, yeah. And they would love to talk to you about it. Yeah, like give yourself an extra five minutes if you go into the shop because yes. if you start saying essential oils, you're yes. gonna learn some stuff. Yeah, so absolutely, go with extra time. <laughs> All right, for sure. So essential oils. I know plants are great. We can eliminate the bleach. Um, getting your air ducts cleaned. It's crazy how like throughout the winter how much dust builds up. Um, which, you know, you had mentioned the other day when we were chatting what uh, a lot of that dust consists of. <laughs> well, it's mostly dead skin cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's is what it is. Isn't that a fantastic? So, <laughs> yeah. And in the yeah. winter, we're kind of layering it all on, right? It's very right. dry. We're not sweating as much. So we're just naturally not detoxifying. So all that dead skin kind of hangs out, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and there's other ways, other things you can do for your skin in regards to dry brushing, um, you know, natural exfoliating. So there's lots yeah. of things you can do. So spring is the perfect time to start detoxifying inside. And outside, because yes. your body's going to start doing that naturally on its own anyway. Right. You can just help it along a little bit. So when you are having that itch to organize, <laughs> to clean, to like, okay, I'm starting fresh. Just remember, you're doing it for your insides as well. So be right. mindful about what you're using on the outside Absolutely. so that you're, you're helping the process. Okay. So yeah, so what we do externally of our bodies within our homes, it also, it does affect us within. So that is great to keep in mind. That's, I mean, really, I think, I don't think that that's a connection that's made very often when we're, you know, cleaning yeah. our homes and spring cleaning. Right. So. It's pretty significant. Typically people learn as necessary. So yeah. a lot of times when we're dealing with autoimmune conditions or other chronic conditions, that's when people really start to learn like, oh, I'm exposed to it. And then it goes into my body and kind of hangs out in my gut. Yeah. And, you know, gut is a very hot topic. It has been for several years because yeah. we're learning so much about it and how it affects our immune system. And so, you know, with the rise in autoimmune conditions, people are very aware now mm -hmm. that the products that you use make an, a huge difference in regards to the overall functioning of your body and definitely your immune system. Yeah, so awareness is number one, and then doing yeah. something with what you're learning and the information. So yeah, I, small changes, honestly, yeah. small changes make a huge difference. If you yeah. just swapped out one thing, mm -hmm. like you said, and you took away your standard cleaners, so your, your Windex, your bleach, and maybe your Lysol, 
-hmm. Those, if you just got rid of those three and started using vinegar and water, um, honestly, you'd save. Yeah. <laughs> you'd save some money. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly. Yes. Buy yourself more organic fruits and vegetables. Save a little on your cleaners. Right. right. And um, it would make a huge difference. And yeah. it's a really, it's a small thing. Right. And and that it's that with anything in life, right? The small things consistently over time are what make a bigger difference than just doing like something big one time or a couple of times. So yeah, that's yeah. great, great Absolutely. advice. Absolutely. Great advice. Yeah, I was just yeah. reading actually. So, you know, you know how a river can move a mountain is like one stone at a time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So one, one stone at a time. One stone at a time. We are going to get our homes healthy, which is also going to help us on the inside and as well. Bodies. Yes. Thank you so Correct. much, Valerie. Anything else before we leave today? I, I know we're going to have you back on again next quarter for our next segment, um, but anything yeah, else? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I would say if, if there's things that spe people specifically want to hear about, because um, I do talk on a lot of different topics yeah. and having to do with food, nutrition, health, wellness, all of that. So definitely I'd love to get the feedback in here, like what else do people want to hear okay. about yes. um, in regards to things in their home or around their home. Um, I know there's some buzz, excuse me, people have been asking about, you know, well, what about EMFs and the electronics and like, how does that affect our health? So yes. um, yeah, maybe next time we can talk about that or whatever, whatever okay. your guests want to hear. So. All right. So, so make sure you put your comments either in this post on the replay, send myself a message or Valerie, let us know what you want to hear. Um, we are going to be having her back at least a couple of times. We can have her back more if there's enough that you want to learn about. So let us know. Um, thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. Valerie, thank you as always for joining us. Love your insights and um, your positivity. I mean, you if you had it, I mean, you're, you're working towards it, but you want to make everybody on this in this world healthy one, one step at a time. So we one step at a you. time. Yeah. You got it. Well, thank you all very right. much, Tracy. So thank you so much. And we'll see you all next week on Tea with Tracy. Bye. Bye.